iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 are coming later in the year and will offer a number of small and big gaming improvements. Today I'm going to preview some of these features via the Apple Beta software program. This video has been demoed with an iPhone 12 Pro and iPad Pro 11 inch 5th generation. Most of the home screen UI on iPad now has controller support from browsing your apps, even the ones in the dock, switching between pages and browsing the all new app library for iPad. You can access the app library from your dock or by holding down the home button on your controller. It is available at any time, even if you're playing your favorite game like Definity Original Sin 2. This is perfect as you can more quickly switch between games now. Hopefully they can find some way to bring this to iPhone. Under the settings app on iPhone and iPad, you'll now find Focus, which has replaced Do Not Disturb. Focus helps you stay in the moment when you need to concentrate and you can optimize it for gaming focus. You can allow notifications from only chosen people in your contacts and apps downloaded on your device. You can also allow gaming focus to turn on automatically when you play with a controller and you can let others know you're gaming with a status that says you have notifications silenced. There is quite a lot more here than meets the eye, but I'll leave it up to you to play around with. Amazing moments happen when we game, and sometimes you want to save those special moments to look back on later, or share them with others. You've been able to do this on console for quite a while by pressing the share button, and then you can save it. But now you can do it on iPhone and iPad too with game highlights. Game Highlights allows you to save a video clip of up to the last 15 seconds of gameplay. You can do this just by holding down the share button on your controller. However, you can't do this from the get-go, you have to set it up. So to do this, you'll have to go to Settings, General, Gaming Controller, Custom Controls, and change under Press and Hold to Capture Highlight. Just note, enabling this may reduce performance in games when playing with a controller. On the App Store's game page, featured games now show their prices and you can more easily buy and download them instead of then going into them and then buying them. In iOS 14, Apple brought widgets to your home screen on iPhone. Now they've added widgets to iPadOS and have added a new gaming widget for Game Center. We have two widgets. Continue Playing allows you to quickly access recently played games. Friends Are Playing lets you explore games your friends have played recently. There are up to four different styles of these widgets depending on how much you want to show on your home screen. Before iOS 15 and iPadOS 15, friend requests via Game Center could only be done through messages. While this is still available, a new friend request inbox is available under your Game Center profile. For games powered by Game Center, when you start a multiplayer match, Apple's new suggestions section brings in your existing messages groups. You can tap a group and the invite is sent within the messages thread you already have going. Apple now remembers the Game Center friend groups you've played with and will suggest them as well. Apple have also added controller support for all Game Center UI on both iPhone and iPad. Just press the home button on any supported controller and the Game Center dashboard is instantly presented. Press it again and you're back in the game. And last, you can now share your screen under FaceTime. When you connect with someone, tap the Share My Screen button and your display will appear on the other user's Apple device. How is this related to gaming though? Well, you can go and play your favorite game while your friend watches you. The sound from your game will also transfer to your friend's device. I don't imagine many of you will use this feature, but it's a cool way to stay connected with others. 
What gaming updates are you most excited about in iOS 15 or iPadOS 15? Let me know in the comments. There are several other new features coming in iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 that I didn't even mention here, but that is because no developers have implemented it into their games yet. We're talking running games under Metal 2.4, using DualSense adaptive triggers for games, in-app events for games, games using Apple's virtual on-screen controller, reoccurring leaderboards, HDR rendering with EDR, Apple's spatial audio APR, phase, and much more. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed this video preview and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple gaming related. My name's Stewie and thanks for watching.